Oh, okay. We have breaking news about antioxidants. I just want to give you my top takeaways about antioxidant. When you um, look at the word antioxidant, if you break it down with A-N-T-I, which means against, oxen means oxidation. And oxidation occurs naturally. For example, if you had, just like Moselle mentioned, if you had an apple and you slice that in half or make slices of it, once it hits the oxygen, it turns brown. If you want to prevent the browning, you can use a antioxidant such as vitamin C, like lemon juice or orange juice or oranges to prevent the browning for the apple turning brown. Our bodies are pretty much a battleground against infections and disease. Our normal body functions such as breathing, physical activity, other lifestyles such as smoking, pollution that is in the air, our diet, or especially a poor diet, can produce substances that's called free radicals. And what are free radicals? When you look at free radicals, basically it is a molecule or that is normally they are paired together, but once you have a cell that, um, well, the free radical is missing a um, proton so it's looking for one and it normally will take it from a healthy cell. And so it's like a robber, it's a taker. So it really depletes this, um, the cell from energy. It doesn't kill it. If it did kill it, it would have been a good thing because our body would produce new one. So in this case, it um, injures the, the atom. And then at this state, it can mutate and it will be defected. So this is pretty much like the state of, or where the, it could be the seed of other types of disease or the beginning of like heart disease or other types of ailment. So in the corner of my picture there, you have like a healthy um, atom. Then you have your free radical, which is taking it from the, the healthy cell and antioxidant is more like a giver. So it gives it to the cell. So eating like your fruits and vegetables um, will help to um, prevent that. Um, so I thought this is very interesting. Um, eating um, antioxidant kind of help prevent or serves as a way for for our bodies to uh, protect healthy cells. I have one more slide that I'll show you. So if you think about um, oxidative stress, and this can occur um, basically um, in our lives, if you're going through stress, um, a poor diet such as fried foods can um, produce like free radical smoking, pollution that may be in the in our environment um, or also can be present in our water as well. So on the cellular level uh, with this um, with the free radical, it can actually alter the DNA and um, it can mutate. And so from there it may lead to different types of health issues or disease. And the last slide uh, with with the oxidation, those are just showing that oxidation occurs naturally. We see this a lot, um, like our produce, uh, eventually, if we leave it out in the air for a long period of time, um, it will oxidize or deteriorate. So from our environment, also a UV rays is another way that we can, our body can um, produce like free radicals, um, pollutions from our car, stress, um, a poor diet. On the other side, you see there is a missing link. So the free radical is actually going to take it from the healthy cell. On the other side, once you, if you're eating antioxidants or eating those or tasting the rainbow, eating a variety of colorful produce, um, the antioxidant can be very protective and produce like a healthy scale, um, healthy um, from the cellular level or the cells. So that is my take on antioxidants. So make sure you eat your fruits and vegetables and taste the rainbow.
of colorful fruits and vegetables. All right, thank you so very much, Marlene. See, you don't have to be a chemist to understand antioxidants. Although Marlene is a certified dietitian, 